Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at the Ryuso Buckle G from Kishiri Sentai Ryu Soldier. I know this came out a while ago and honestly I forgot I even had this. I had a big pile of stuff to review and this was on the bottom and I just kind of uncovered it today. So surprise, we're taking a look at it. Uh, basically it is just the same as the buckle we got in the beginning of the series, but now it is silver instead of gold because it is worn by the Gold Ranger. Nice big picture of him here on the front of the packaging. And it does come with the Yawaraka Soul, which is, I'll be honest, the, pretty much the only reason I bought this thing, because it does have an exclusive <laughs> Ryu Soul with it. Uh, so yeah, there's a picture of the Yawaraka Soul. I'm sure I'll say that wrong by the end of the video at some point. Nice group shot there on the bottom, though. I like that. A uh, nice picture of gold on this side, another picture of gold on the back. It has the uh, part for the belt that can hold the two Ryu soles, and then of course it has the buckle which can have a Ryu sole inside. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get this out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. So here is the Ryuso Buckle G. Uh, it does come with a plastic strap, of course. There's a blue, thin plastic strap. Uh, that you can feed through all of these attachments and then obviously a small child could wear it around their waist i'm not going to bother taking it out of the package you guys know how those work uh i don't usually bother with them but basically you actually get two of these which i think the original one only came with one so that's kind of cool you just go ahead and clip the reuse soles in there i believe you're meant to have them closed when you do so not that it matters you can have them open or closed. You can even open them. No, you probably can't actually because that's going to hit when it comes around. So never mind. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, you get two of these. So you can hold four on these. And you just have to feed the belt through here. I kind of wish they were just like an open clip. Because then you could kind of just put this on, you know, any pants or belt or anything that you're wearing. If you just wanted to have fun and carry these around with you. But... Unfortunately, it is closed on both ends, so you have to feed the belt through there. If you wear a belt that's thin enough, you could put this on any belt, but obviously it's meant to go with the uh, blue plastic piece that comes with it. But that's it for that. And then you have the belt buckle, which is the egg, which you just open up, take the reusal, and you just drop it inside. Right, there we go. I was like, why is this not working? So there you go. You put that inside, close it up, and that's it. Again, it has the closed notches, so you just feed the belt through the loops. Pop it open. Take your U-sole out. It's got some nice silver paint on the front. It's about as much as I can say for it. It's just a hunk of plastic that opens and closes. It's kind of like Pac-Man. Or like a piranha flower. I don't know. I'm stretching. There's really not much to do with this thing. It's just a belt buckle. So there you go. If you want a belt buckle and two uh, reusal holders, that's what you get. But let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the main event here. The new reusal that we get. All right. So for, before we put in the changer, we'll take a look at the sole itself. The Yawaraka sole. Nice sticker here on the front. Otherwise, it's the typical light gray or silver knight pretty cool little sword there though close it up the head of the dinosaur is a really bright sky blue so i like that quite a bit very neat design there on the back b031 typical silver helmet nothing really exciting there but a pretty cool little reusal so we'll go ahead and put it in the changer. I don't really have any high expectations of what we're going to get. Well, I always have trouble with this. There we go. So it's the same sound that every... Light gray generic Ryusol makes, so nothing too exciting there. Next up, we'll try it in the Ryusol can. Yeah, 
So I'm not really sure what that sound effect means. I still really have no clue as to what this resource power is. So there you go, armor is equipped. So, some goofy sound effects to be sure, but they're kind of fun. So at the end of the day, do you need this set? Probably not. I mean, if you're big into cosplay and you can actually wear the belt if it actually fits you, then sure. Or you have a kid who's going to wear it and have fun with it, then totally. Um, but for a collector like myself, the roleplay belt elements don't really do anything for me, and I pretty much just bought this for the new Ryu Soul, but I'm almost positive there's either a Candy Toy or a Gashapon version of this, so you could pass on this whole thing and just get yourself the Candy Toy version. Really wouldn't be much different, uh, so you probably just have to apply. I think for the Candy Toy, you just have to apply the sticker yourself. For the Gashapon version, you might have to connect the arms to the body and maybe the helmet on the back. But, uh, yeah, it's really the only difference. So I would say, unless you're planning on cosplaying with this, just pass on this and pick up the Candy Toy or the Gashapon version of the Soul. I mean, unless you love it. If you, you know, you use it for display or something, it's just these don't do a whole lot on their own. Really, they don't do anything except hold Ryu Souls, but they're just not terribly interesting. So unless you're going to actually make a display with these or where this is cosplay i would say easily pass on it let me know what you guys think in the comments below please like share comment subscribe hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thank you so much for watching